Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. Okay, that takes us back. Those will take us uh, down to those rooms from below, and then we have to climb all the way back up. We don't want to do that. Ooh, E-Tank. We do want that. Those take dash blocks? Yeah, if you say so. Okay, we want that E-Tank. So, we have to be very careful going through here. Because I believe there is one spot that's going to try and trick us. Aha! See, see the trick? See it? There we go. That's a nice energy tank to find. You know, it would probably be smart to uh, fill up our normal missiles before the boss fight, but uh, we're not going to need them. Ah, these guys again. Actually, what I should be doing... Oh, they're not going to open stuff until we get all of that. That's unfortunate. I still have this whole area to go through. Why are there spikes? Well, huh? there's a secret this way. Then we'll go this way. Dash blocks, we can't do that. Okay. That might be a path that we come back from. Not how I meant to do this. I know, I know. And we can't do that now. Okay. So that does not open that door. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go this way, I guess. Yeah, stop. I feel like I should be leaving at least one of you guys alive. No. That's not going to be helpful here. All I'm concerned about is getting through this room in the cheesiest way possible. Woo! Okay, you don't need to be left alive. Oh, those things died with the grapple beam. That's somewhat convenient. Uh, you're going the wrong way, isn't it? Thank you. 
There we go. There's a safe spot through here. Just in case things go horribly wrong. In case. Oh, energy refill. That's... that's nice. I'm pretty sure there aren't any of these rooms in the game that will have, uh, secrets. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. I'm okay with that. As long as I do eventually get the secrets, because I like finding stuff. Oh, there's more stuff down there. I wonder if we could take that quicksand down there. Uh, I'm not going to try it, at least not yet. We have other stuff to do. Aha! Like, go this way. And go this way. And there's missiles here. You see, they didn't put a dot on the map there for that missile thing. Well, that's suspicious. These are fake. I bet these are fake, too. Hey, they are. Uh, which fake ones do we want to go down first? Well, I think that answers us. Hey, I found the boss. Let's make sure we have enough time to fight him. Okay, yep, we have plenty of time. Uh, okay, so the boss's name is... Dragoon, or Dargaz, or Drapion, or something. Whatever you prefer. But we're going to beat this the cheesy way. Last time I played this, I did intend to fight this guy the uh, honest, legit way, but uh, he has a very cheap tact. Ah, very cheap tactic where he'll grab you and keep dealing tons of damage. Hey, you, grab me! Come on. All right, so when he grabs you like this, you have to have those sides exposed. And then you just grapple onto the electric current. Notice your health is draining, but his will drain too, and it will drain much faster. And this makes him kind of the easiest of the big bad four. And then all the uh, children come and snuggle with their dead parent. That's kind of weird. Well, we defeated one of the big bad four. That's that's what really matters. And we get <gasps> the space jump. Probably my favorite of the mobility upgrades in the Metroid series. And we need it to exit this room. So what the space jump allows us to do is kind of do a continuous uh, swirling jump. If we fail, we might get knocked down. But uh, yeah, this makes mobility much easier in many places. It's almost like we don't even need the grapple beam anymore. And for the most part, we probably won't. We'll recharge our energy real quick. And uh, let's go see what we can do with the space jump. Actually, I use the grapple beam on these guys. 
just because they are weak to it. And you can just continuously keep bouncing for as long as you can hold the rhythm. You can go back and forth. Space jump, really nice, and it can get us a bunch of stuff. Provided we don't utterly fail at everything. No, I don't want to go down. At least I don't think I want to go down. I honestly don't have a clue. There's a bunch of stuff we could go get. Uh, maybe it'd be a good idea to go down first. Because the way to get back up here from there isn't that bad. Let's start by going out. I go as close to that, uh... Why are you here? Maybe we can't go down there. No, that's just gonna damage us. It doesn't seem right. Hmm. Okay, this isn't the place where we can go down. So that brings us back out to here. Well, what in the world are we supposed to do about that? So that's completely solid, and that takes dash. Oh. I have bombs. And a morph ball that can get me over these guys. At least in theory. There we go. Weird little guys. A normal missile recharge. That's what we get. Great. Uh, what is my time now? Eh, we got a couple minutes left. That room wasn't worth it. Well, this room is now unlocked for us. And as you can tell, we're going to put that space jump to use. There's still a bunch of secrets to collect in Meridia here. Ooh. A purple one of those guys. That's new. I'm failing to space jump. That's okay, we're mapping stuff in. Just gotta keep the game honest here. Totally looks like there should be something, but there totally is not. 
Yeah, even after we got the x-ray scanner, uh, my dad would still x-ray, he'd x-ray scan the place, and then he'd still spend time bombing every little corner. Drove me crazy. And, well, this can be a uh, fill-up station, should you need it. Oh, we are full. Well, we were. That brings us out to here. Okay, remember the other door that was blocked by... Uh, I think it's actually right up here. And it almost takes a space jump. Yeah, that door, right there. We kind of need to space jump correctly to get to it. Yeah, that door. That's where we're going next. <laughs> 